Hey guys, it's Ben with Survival Gardener, and today I'm gonna to show you guys a quick and easy way to make patacones. Now, I'm gonna show you a shortcut. There's gonna be some, some OG Central Americans that are probably gonna disagree with me. Now, normally what you have to do before you make these, you gotta soften them up, you gotta cook them in some way. Some people boil them. Most people fry the chunks and then smash them and then refry them. Well, what you can also do is put them in a bowl and throw them in the microwave. Ay, que so, malo. Two ways, that's the cheater's way. But check it out, I'll show you how to make them. And you can put beans and cheese on them and jalapenos, and they're so good. All right, you're gonna start with one green plantain. This is a normal variety, like the kind you'd find at your supermarket. And this is the Platano Patacon. I'm pretty excited about these. I've been waiting two years for these to produce. So they're basically the same, just a different shape. Anyway, let's -a go. All right, so we're gonna start with one green plantain variety. You want a green plantain because they are starchy and what we're basically making is a kind of a fried potato-ish sort of snack. So it's got to be green. It's good and starchy. Cut them in little three-quarter inch chunks and then put them in a bowl and what I do, like I said before, is put them in the microwave for two minutes. You can also fry them up then smash them and refry them or you can boil them whatever just get them hot and soft now there are a lot of techniques on how to smash down a good patacone there's some ways that work and some that don't work i've struggled with it for years until one day a nicaraguan lady who was helping me out around the house came and said why don't you just grab two plates and smash them that way it's a lot easier jeez man do i feel silly anyway learn from my mistakes this works for me here two pieces of tin foil Smash them together. The tin foil just helps you get the chips back off. And it works really well. I love the versatility of the plantain. Makes great chips, good things to dip with. You can also make sandwiches with them, hamburgers. It's a good replacement for bread if you're gluten sensitive or don't handle wheat very well. This is a pork sandwich. Pretty awesome. Anyway, let's get frying these. Let's get the oil in the pan. We're gonna let it get good and hot before we put these things in there. I'm using a light olive oil. I found that while using pig lard or palm oil or some of the heavier type of oils, they taste good. Uh, it's just, they're really, really heavy. Like I can only eat a couple of them. And also you're kind of dumping a lot of extra calories in there unnecessarily. So taste and health, I, I think lighter oils work better. Uh, light olive oil, I also like using avocado oil. And what you're going to do is just cook these up, let them get a little bit brown, a little crispy on each side, and then they'll be ready to do with what you want. If you're making chips, obviously, uh, you're going to want more of a crunchy style, like tostone. However, what I'm going to do today is put some beans and cheese and jalapenos on top of them, so I kind of want to be a little bit chewy. And here they are, finished off with some beans, cheese, and jalapenos, and it's time to feed the monster. you have it how to make patacones thanks for watching you know i never realized how popular patacones were around the world i mean putin's on them snoop dogg is hanging out with ice cube eating patacones definitely trump for sure eats patacones i mean he's he's i bet he eats a lot of patacones and look at those plates brad pitt duh of course he's a fan and I mean, sliced alone, every time I see him on the news or on the E! channel, he's just talking about Patacona's all day. And we all know Naruto's not eating rice and ramen all day. He's got to have some Patacona's. He's a good fighter. And Rihanna, the source of her talent, obviously Patacona's. I don't know how I feel about this one. I mean, that's not right. But this dude, North Korea is probably a stressful country to run. He probably definitely has to mow down on some. I regret using this Roblox. I don't like Roblox.
Pura Vida from Costa Rica, and like and subscribe.